So due to the fact that I'm in Wisconsin and this happened in Wisconsin, obviously I covered it when it first happened. I didn't touch it since then. Now that it's out, uh, we're gonna cover it because it smashing windows and doors. <laughs> Protesters from New York to Chicago angry over Kyle Rittenhouse being acquitted on all five counts. Not guilty. <laughs> if you just so happen to follow the mainstream media and that is your only source of information, this is what you think would happen. Let me paint a picture for you. We have an illegal minor cross an illegal state line with an illegal crew served weapon and mowed down 1,500 bazillion people in the name of racism illegally and then was went to court with a judge that served on the panel of the KKK who let him off to fight racism and be a racist. Rittenhouse's legal team says he then shot two people who struck him first. The criminal complaint alleges Anthony Huber, Rittenhouse's second victim, hit Rittenhouse in the shoulder in an effort to disarm him. So let me ask you right out, if Kyle Rittenhouse was black uh, and he had the same jury makeup, only one person of color on that jury, do you think the verdict would have been the same? I do not. In this country and statistically, African American and brown people typically get higher sentences. They are treated differently by the judicial system, and that's just a fact that is well documented. Any of us who were directly involved in what happened last year on the 25th are really that surprised. Uh, we know that this system is a failure. Rittenhouse trips and falls to the ground. Reality check here. What happened is a kid in Kenosha, now his mom is from Illinois, but his dad and most everybody else he knows lives in Kenosha, was there to participate in a peaceful protest to help clean up some of the mess because that's what good Samaritans do, had no intentions of violence, happened to have an AR-15, which he got in the area, went to go do this, Got in a, a sticky situation. And I gotta admit, I think he handled it better than most of us would have. Found himself in a sticky situation where he was forced to defend himself. Went to court, which he shouldn't have been charged in the first place because it was clearly self-defense. Like, somebody was drop kicking him in the head. They were trying to beat him to death with a skateboard and somebody even pulled a gun and was about to shoot him. Anyway... Defended himself, went to court even though he shouldn't have, and was found innocent, rightfully so, because of the laws in Wisconsin. So, let's go over the facts real quick. Number one, state lines crossing that. First off, he didn't have a crew serve weapon, or he didn't bring a weapon across state lines. The weapon was already here. His friend had given it to him. Separate issue altogether. Next, we got minor with a gun. Well, in Wisconsin, as of I think it's 12, you can legally hunt by yourself with your parents' permission. Like the gun laws with minors in Wisconsin are written really weird. I should probably check them because they've probably changed since this all happened just because of this. But last time I checked, it was, say my daughter steals one of my guns and gets into trouble, I'm liable because I left her access to it and she was able to steal it. Now, if I give her that gun, then I'm not liable because I gave it to her. I didn't have it just laying around. I handed it to her and I'm like, here, you can use this. And she does something bad with it. I'm not responsible because that was her decision. I gave her the gun and that's off, I believe, at age 13. Again, Google this stuff. I may just Google it and post it right here. Next, self-defense. In Wisconsin, it basically goes a little something like this. Let's pretend I say something to you you don't like or I start a problem. When I retreat from that problem, you cannot come after me and kill me. You just can't do that. And for good reason. Because otherwise, every time somebody starts a problem with you, it would exonerate you from all activities and you could just go and kill people. That's not the way it works. Let's pretend I'm in road rage and, or a road rage incident and I accidentally cut somebody off even though it was my fault that I cut him off and then I tailgated him and then I brake checked him and I flashed my lights 
And then we both pulled over and he lifted up his waistband and showed he had a gun and I sped off in my car. If he chases after me and kills me, he murdered me. That is not self-defense. And that's relevant to what happened with Kyle because, one, he was running away from the scene. He was running away from the people trying to attack him. So even if they make the argument that he started it, it doesn't matter because he's exiting. They chased after him. And he killed them. Remember, think of the world rage thing. Let's say I take off and the guy's chasing after me. And I kill that guy even though he's chasing after me and my family's in the car. Should I be charged with murder or self-defense? He is the aggressor. Now, if he's chasing after me and then he stops and I decide to chase after him and I kill him, well, then that would be murder. If that makes sense to you. Next one, straw purchase. First off, a straw purchase has little... Like, f all to do with whether or not a shooting was a self-defense scenario or not. Now, I didn't hear the actual part myself because I didn't watch the trials that closely. But from what I'm told, the friend admitted to purchasing the firearm until he turned 18 and was going to sell it to him. Yes, that would be a straw purchase. Now, if he was just going to gift it to him, that's totally legal. But the fact that he bought it so Kyle could avoid doing the 4473 for whatever the reason is in this particular case, because he wasn't old enough, yes, that would be a straw purchase. But whatever the hell he does, <laughs> that has absolutely nothing to do with if this is or is not a self-defense situation. The straw purchase is a separate issue. Now we got the whole hate crime racist thing. He literally shot a person that was dropping the end bomb and then telling him to shoot him. Like, he said the end bomb several times, and Kyle's a racist because he shot him? If anything, you think they'd be like, he's an Antifa hero destroying racism. And he shot all white people. And he's white. And he got tested. He got. The judge was white. How does racism even play a part into this? That makes absolutely no sense. There is not a black person even involved. How is this racism? I didn't see a single black person attacking, get shot, being a judge, a lawyer, nothing. This was about as white as. You can't get any more whiter than this. And it's racism somehow? Like, are you kidding me? How, how, how did you come to this conclusion in your little brain that this whole situation has something to do with race? It was pretty freaking white if you ask me. It was a white crime committed on a white person against another white person, tried by white people and a bunch of other 12 other white people found him innocent. Where the hell does race come into this? So... Now that we got that all out of the way, it was pretty sad. Like, I don't know if you watched the trials, but the moment he found out he was innocent and he found out he had his life back and he fainted, it made me tear up a little bit. Just in case you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and play that right now. Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Huber, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. It's touching and something you need to think about. But anyway, I uh, appreciate you watching my video. If you like to help support the channel, I'm on Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.